Huh. I'm about to have a moat around my shop. And Rogers Pond is about to be like five acres. Hey, does anybody know uh, from a tax standpoint if a moat, does that add property value or reduce property value? A asking for a friend, of course. Day. So we used the boost controller that gave us about 16 and a half pounds yesterday. All I've done is uh, unbolt the exhaust at the downpipe there. You can hear it still running in the background. Um, a little bit more of a boost spike. It held on to it a little bit longer before it came back down to 15. Uh, yeah, it's 15. Okay. Um, focus on the on the numbers here a little bit. It uh, didn't really hold on as much after that first run. I don't know if I just loaded it up a little different when I punched it or if it, uh, who knows, planets didn't align correctly. So you get a little bit of a dip there, but you get a little bit more of a dip around it's corresponding right there in boost. I mean, it may have knocked a little bit. I didn't hear it. It wouldn't surprise me if it did. I'm kind of really kind of on the limits of what you should be doing with stock ECU and pump 93. Uh, people might argue with me on this, but again, this is you know years of, of jacking with these things. It's kind of what we noticed. Um, the raw data down here. Not too bad. I'm going to put the phone down and uh, pick this back up in a second if I can overlay some of the uh, or at least one of the runs from last night. It, it, it takes it takes a little bit of doing here in Quantum. I can't I can't do it and hold the phone at the same time. But um, ignore the stuff over there. But I mean, you can see it's correcting down. It's kind of a cool cool day in the shop right now. 60 degrees. Humidity's not terrible, although it's you know it's raining. And what do you do when it's raining? You go play in the shop. So. Be back in a minute with a little bit more commentary. Probably gonna turn the car off. All right, here we go. Finally got uh, my overlay figured out. Um, had to update the quantum software. I just loaded it on my uh, other laptop at the house, and we're gonna do this quick little bit here down at the down at the house in my work environment here on the counter. It's kind of a mess. Stickers, 
everything like that. Anyway, so what we've got here, we've got the, the two runs, um, the highlighted run or the, the one that stands out, the light blue, I guess you call that color, is with the exhaust bolted up and the dark blue is with the open down pipe from uh, earlier today. Not quite as big a difference as I was expecting. Um, the air fuel was different. In a couple spots it was leaner. They're right there primarily from about 3,800 on it was leaner. Um, it wasn't wasn't dramatically leaner up top as you can see there pretty much flat lined at about 10.6 at about 40 47 50 on um, but if you I'll see here switch hands navigate this thing yeah, where's my mouse there we go like right there you know it's 12.6 versus you know, I can't make out the number 12.4 and they got 12 1 versus 11 something and then here it's still in the 11s and with the exhaust bolted up it's already in the 10s and you get out here and it's just it's ugly um let's say 9.2 <laughs> for all that though that that whole mm, point and a half afr change i mean you do pick up a decent amount there obviously 21 wheel that 52.75 and about about 20 foot pounds of torque there. Um, it it really kind of loses it above 5,500. Things kind of come get you know come back closer together. But uh, over here it's not bad. You know the peak numbers are a little better. Um, not not as much as I kind of expected to be perfectly honest. 162. Versus an average of about 155, I think. I got the I've got the low horsepower run, but it, it started at the same time. Um, RPM wise is roughly is the open down pipe one, so that's why I grabbed it. They all, they all kind of share the same shape. Um, you can see the boost was all in. About 3,800, not not the instant spooling thing everybody talks about. Uh, it did make more boost, made about two pounds more on the hit. It carried it out longer, um, not like huge amounts. It did. It did ultimately come back to about fifteen there. Well, this one looks like it came back to about. Hmm, well, that's about fifteen. So let's look. Oops, don't do that. Yeah, fifteen point three, fourteen point you know three. Then it's fourteen point nine and. 14.6, 15.1, whatever. It's fluctuating a little bit. Um, that doesn't make up your difference in power there. I mean, it helps a little bit, but it's not. You know, the big driver there is the point and a half air fuel ratio, probably. Um, so, yeah, I, I kind of expected more power out of it, to be perfectly honest. Um, I want to say it made... Uh, it's about the same amount of power difference it, it made uh, at stock boost. I think we went from 122 to 131 at stock boost, and this went from 153 to 162. Um, so it's a little interesting. I'm sure there's other factors at play here. Tuning would be a big one. Um, and we'll get to that in a later video.